Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper. I'm from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent. And in this video clip I want to discuss with you how we can determine the specific activity and the turnover number, or turnover number of an enzyme. So let's start with a couple of definitions. The specific activity of an enzyme is defined as the maximum amount of substrate that can be turned over per milligram of enzyme in a certain time. So for the unit uh, we would get therefore something like millimole of substrate per minute and milligram of enzyme. And with this unit, if we remember this, uh, then uh, we already have a sort of an equation. The turnover number uh, is defined as the amount of substrate that one mole of enzyme can turn over in one minute. So if we take the unit of our uh, specific activity, we would have millimole of substrate per, say, minute. And instead of milligram of enzyme, I say times the amount of enzyme. So, for example, millimole of enzyme. And what we see is that the millimole and the millimole here in the denominator cancels out. And what I'm left with is the uh, time here in the denominator. So the unit for the turnover number would be minute to the minus one. Now, usually this is quite abstract and therefore I think uh, the best idea is to do this uh, on an uh, example. So here is uh, a typical example from which we can calculate the specific activity and the turnover number. So we used uh, 0 0.5 milligram, half a milligram of an enzyme. We know the molecular mass of this, so that's uh, 80 kilodalton. And we had uh, re we measured a Vmax of 1.6 millimolar per minute. And we carried out our reaction in a total of one milliliter. So let's calculate the specific activity in the first place. So specific activity. And we said specific activity is defined as the amount of substrate per time unit, so per minute, and milligram of enzyme. So what we uh, therefore need to find out in the first place is what is the amount of substrate that was used. And we can very easily do that. Uh, we can say the Vmax that we have is 1.6 uh, times 10 to the minus 3 to the minus 3 mole per liter. So this is this millimolar here and minute. So liter times minute, I should say. So we've got 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter and minute. Now, of course, our reaction is not a liter, our reaction is only one milliliter, so we can uh, argue in one milliliter. Um, we turn over 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter and minute. And we know that there are 1,000 milliliter in one liter. So 
1 over 1000 uh, liter, that is a milliliter. And what we get from that is that we have in one milliliter, we get 1.6 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by a thousand and the unit. Now the liters cancel out and we end up with mole per minute. So this means that our amount of enzyme that we uh, amount of substrate that we use is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per minute so I should probably say amount of substrate per time and for the specific activity we need to divide this by the amount of enzyme that we have so specific activity we said is the amount of substrate divided by the time and the milligram of enzyme so what we need to do here is we just said amount of substrate per minute is 1.6 and instead of 10 to the minus 6 moles I can write 1.6 micromole per minute divided by 0 0.5 milligram and when I do this calculation I get 1.6 divided by 0 0.5 that gives me 3.2 micromole per minute and milligram of enzyme and this basically is my specific activity. So 3.2 uh, micromole per minute and milligram of enzyme. Now let's see if we can calculate the turnover number. So turnover number and we said that is when we replace replace the milligram of enzyme in the specific activity by the number of number of moles of the enzyme. So what we basically have to do now is we have to find out how many moles moles are in one milligram of enzyme? And I always uh, like to do that step by step. So I know we've got a molecular mass of 80,000 Dalton, so I know that 80,000 gram of this enzyme would be equivalent to one mole. 80 gram would be a thousand of the mole, so it would be one millimole. 80 milligrams Again, it's a thousand of that, so that is one micromole. 
and basically I, I probably should write this here one or I write it here one milligram is one over 80 micromol or I can write this as 0 0.0125 micromole. So that is one milligram and we know that these 0 0.0125 micromole can deal with 3.2 micromole of the substrate. So let's put that together and we've got the turnover number. Uh, we have 3.2 micromole per minute and milligram but instead of milligram I now write times 0 0.0125 micromole. I've got this. And now I just simply have to do uh, the calculation. Now I see the micromole, the units cancel out, and I've got 3.2 divided by 0 0.0125 and the unit would be 1 over minute. And if I put that into the calculator, I get something like 256 minute to the minus 1. So that is my turnover number. And this turnover number basically tells me how many moles of substrate are turned over per mole of enzyme or on a more microscopic level it tells me that 256 molecules of substrate are turned over per minute turned over per molecule enzyme in one minute. Now, to be perfectly honest, a turnover number of 256 per minute is not uh, terribly impressive. A uh, lot of enzymes uh, have a far higher turnover number, but, well, I suppose it's an enzyme, it's around four, four and a half molecules per second. So I hope uh, you found this uh, video useful and thank you for watching it.